Alright, hey YouTube. Um, the reason I haven't been making videos lately is because I sat on my old iPod and I cracked the screen so I had to get rid of it. But uh, the other day I went to go pick up this iPod Touch 3G. As you can see, iPod Touch 3G. Which I will be doing a review on later about the specs, the speed test, and so on and so forth. But now that I have this new iPod, I can do the app reviews, the case reviews, the how-tos, and the jailbreak videos. But today, I'm going to start off with an uh, app review on Call of Duty Zombies. Now this app is $9.99 in the App Store, but the price is, or the app is well worth the price. And I'll show you why in a little second. Now, uh, the beginning intro, the intro video that comes out with this, is the very, is the first intro to the first zombie map on the Xbox 360 and PS3. As you can see, it's the Nocturne and Toten um, zombie intro. As you can see, it is, it is very very good detail for being ported to a handheld device they really got the graphics down pat now, as you can see um, it says Call of Duty Zombies and they greet you with this really nice um, music just this music just gets me in the mood for killing zombies if you know what I'm saying but here you're greeted with options where you can change the controls from touch screen to dual stick to tilt which I'll show you right now Touch screen is where you use this side of the screen to move and this right side of the screen to aim and shoot. Now this side is dual stick, which this side is to move and this side is to aim and shoot. And you just scroll uh, wherever on the top to quick turn. And this is just to tilt. You use this, you use this stick to move, you use this button to shoot, and then you can aim by using the accelerometer inside the device. But... Um, let me see if mine's still put on. Yes, I am stuck to touch screen because I believe it is the easiest. Now right here, new maps. They are actually coming out with a Verruckt map for this application. But the downside is they might make you pay for it. But I'm not sure. Maybe if we get enough um, protesters to protest the, the price of the new map pack and just to get it for free as an update, maybe they'll set it up for free. But in due time. Right here, extras just, uh, you can set up your online profile so you can play with people online, which I'll show you in a second. These are the achievements, um, overall achievements, which there are a lot of them, and the knock their own tone achievements. Um, these are just miscellaneous, and these are the actual achievements for the game. Now right here, single player leaderboard, uh, what the highest level you got to. Um, as you can see, I survived one round with one, or er, 12 rounds with one person, and... Uh, that was the first time I played. But uh, then credits and about, which you guys probably don't want to see. And then co-op. <clears throat> what you can do is you can do an online where you play against people via Wi- or um, not via Wi-Fi, via the internet or interwebs for all you elite hackshores out there. Where you can play against people from all over the world. You can do a quick game, host private, or join private game. Now the other two types are Wi-Fi local Wi-Fi just between you and people on your Wi-Fi network and between Bluetooth so um, that is a very cool feature about this so let's just get into single player you can either play on regular or recruit but the bad thing about recruit is that if you play on this you won't unlock any achievements and uh, the zombies are easy to kill but uh, it's just not worth it I'd rather have the difficulty so let's just start a new game you can play the tutorial which it shows you how to move and it shows you actually Dr. Richtofen which I was really uh, surprised about because they didn't do that in the the council versions but let's just get on into this now the the graphics on this are very very high detail they are extremely good for being on a uh, handheld device and the the sounds are just like how they would be in the real game. Now as you can see, right here is my joystick, right here is the shoot button, and right here is the aim button. As you can see, you aim. Now to move forward, backwards, side to side, you use this. But to turn your gun, you use the screen. Now you can change that sensitivity on and off, or down or higher, depending on what you want. This right here, this is the melee. You can pause the game and you can change options, resume carnage, just like how it is in the real game. 
Then right here, if you have another secondary weapon, you can double tap the icon and it'll uh, swap out your weapons. Right here are your grenades. You can tap those to shoot out your grenades and up here are your points and round. Now what's cool about this is that um, it automatically auto aims onto a zombie, but doesn't mean it's always going to get the shot. So um, let's try to find a zombie real quick. And let's try it. There's one. As you can see, the cursor, well, if you can see that, the cursor is on the zombie and it's aiming at him. Now you can either just shoot like that, which isn't always guaranteed a shot, or you can aim in and shoot. And then you can melee him like this. And the way to purchase guns is you go to the wall and you just click the hand icon. Now, as you can see, I will swap out the guns by double tapping the icon, and it'll appear, and it'll uh, swap out the weapons. But to reload, all you have to do is tap it once. And if you guys are looking for a fun app that is going to give you hours of countless fun and just gonna amaze you, then this is definitely the app to go get. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe to my channel for more app reviews, case reviews, and jailbreak videos. Thanks, have a nice night.